Hi, uh, several of my customers asked one particular thing, how to list mm, the length of the straight cable trays in the report creator. It's a little bit tricky um, because the straight cable trays are not pipes, so by default Plan 3D doesn't care about their lengths because they're supposed to be having a fixed length. But uh, and there is a trick how to do it. Okay, first I have drawn two uh, cable tray bands in a random angle and I would like to attach two straight cable trays to them. Okay. So I delete the lines and the bends. So basically now I have two unparallel uh, trays which have nothing to do with the normal uh, X, Y and Z uh, axis and I give them some lengths. First my date of birth is the first length so it is easy to remember and the second one is let's say 2018 so this is the two lengths what we are looking for in the report creator okay so how to get it uh, let's go to the data manager uh, first yeah So basically we have to check in the data manager you have no such column for the sleeves where you can have this so what you have to do is basically just export this table and we will make some editing on it. So I export it to the desktop, to the desktop, right? And we will edit this Excel sheet there. Okay, so we, here we are, we are in the Excel table. So this is the sleeves. So as you can see, there are all kinds of data here. A lot of them are not useful for us right now. Mm. Uh, what are useful are two bunch of coordinates. And one coordinate triple is this center center of gravity x y z and the other one is the port one x y coordinate and c o p elevation which is basically the z coordinate so this is the two point what we would like to use to calculate the actual length of the cable trays so I hide all the unnecessary columns. Sorry, I am using the Hungarian Excel, but I guess it is mostly the same for you as well. So I have to change the dot to uh, column because otherwise it is not number here. So data X, it is basically the difference of center of gravity and port one. So this is the difference in X direction between the center of gravity of the tray and the port one of the tray. Oh, sorry, it is text. Now it will be okay, I guess, yes. So this is the data X. Data Y is quite similar. So this is the difference of the center of gravity y and the port 1 y coordinate like this. Okay. 
that these also the same center of gravity and port one elevation. So this is true for the first tray and the second tray also. Now there is one thing. Oh, okay, all number. So there is one more thing. These are just half of the distance between port one and port two. You know, from port one to center of gravity, that is one thing. The other half is from the center of gravity to port two. So you have to double all these values to have the actual uh, difference in X and Y and Z. Uh, between the port 1 and port 2 because now you only have the distance between the center of gravity and port 1 not port 1 and port 2 uh, it's a little bit confusing but I don't know why but plan 3D doesn't provide the port 2 coordinates only the center of gravity and port 1 so I double all values basically and now I have the difference between port 1 and port 2 so from this you I will use a little bit of uh, the knowledge of Pythagoras uh, so I basically use the delta x uh, on the second power and delta y and I basically make a root of it so this will be the length of the tray in the XY plane okay this is the same for the second tray and now we have the delta mm, it is not delta it is basically the length of the tray if we are if we have calculated it properly now so again Pythagoras is coming handy uh, so delta x y multiplied by the, uh, multiplied by itself and that is the same and uh, the two added together and now it is rooted and voila that is my birthday birth date birth year so and this is the uh, current year so we have calculated properly so i just basically copy these fields and uh, paste it to somewhere because the new columns won't appear in plant so i have to use one of the columns which are already here so for now i am using the material column i pasted it but i have to paste it as values okay oh i have some rounding error but I will make it disappear okay so now we have successfully entered the length to here so basically you can do it not just for two sleeves but whatever number of sleeves you want so now we are back in the uh, data manager and we just hit import select the edited file and now you will see the changes the material column you just simply have to hit the accept all changes button and now you will have the proper numbers in the material column from now on okay I close the data manager and just hit save on this file so now we can check the report creator we have the report creator here I select the proper project and uh, so this is the file what we are looking for and um, for the report creation, report configuration uh, we can use 3d parts but we cannot edit it so I, I create a new one based on 3d parts I will name it 3d parts cable tray lengths 
and I will use Excel file as a result. And now the fun part starts. We will edit the report layout. Okay, this is the report designer. And there is one thing to look for. And this should be not material code, but material because we want to list the material because that is the chosen column for the length, what we have chosen. And we would like to sort everything, not just by the short description, but also by the length. Because if we are not doing this, every length, I mean every different la uh, length cable tree will be uh, collected in one line. So that's not good for us now. We would like to group it in this in according to the lengths too. So this is the collection group fields. So now it is collected at the first level by short description. And I would like to add another one. And this would be the material. So engineering items material. So this means that at the first level it will be grouped by the short description and on the second level it will be grouped by the material okay so i think this is what should be done now it should be okay second one is the material field yes okay and this is also the material. Okay, I think now we are good to go. Save. Close. And OK. And let's see the preview. Just a moment. Yes. Everything is OK. Preview. So this is it. You have the two different cable trays and the, in the material column, the two lengths are listed we have some unnecessary columns there but otherwise this report seems to be okay mm, just a quick editing report layout i will change the material to length because actually it is the length and i will delete some unnecessary columns delete column and the below one also because that is the data delete the column here the header delete the data column and schedule also not really necessary so i delete this one too and this one also so now you have a little bit more clear report oak preview here you go the standard is also necessary you can delete it if you want but anyhow the two individual cable trees are listed with the, their given lengths so this is how you can do it bye bye